Okay, so I just got my second shipment of named violets. I got three this time, and I have a feeling this may quickly get out of hand because uh, I just got my first shipment. I got two named violets. Well, I got two named violets, one uh, one trailer called Bob's Vanilla Trail, and then also uh, Jersey Snowflakes. So I got two plants last weekend, and then I also got a leaf set, which is Ness's Crinkle Blue, which, and those guys are doing just great. Well, I also ordered from Linden Lion Greenhouse. This is, um, that was in New York. And, I, and I'm really surprised that they're here already because I ordered these on October 14th. Today's the 22nd and the mailman just dropped these um, babies off. And this time I'm looking at the, um, this time I'm looking at the invoice. I ordered ACA's Summer Parf Parfait, Ma's Arctic Sky, and Texas Stardom. So um, I'm gonna unbox these and see how these look. So really excited. All right, and um, I had ordered from Petals and Leaves um, in last last week's video and it was boxed really really well so I was really impressed by how they boxed um, how they boxed that shipment so I will most definitely be ordering from them again so and I'm excited to see how this how this is packaged um, like I said it shipped really quickly so I placed my order and within eight days it arrived here on my doorstep um, I wanted to place the order quickly because um, a lot of these places when you order online they have what they call summer and winter shipping so you obviously don't want to be shipping these um, these guys out in the middle of winter because it might be you know you don't want to leave them out there in the middle of winter because you don't want them to freeze because that would be a bummer so I ordered right before their summer shipping is over I think they had they switched over to winter shipping in, in November so all right, so this is what they look like in here. So they're, uh, so in the other one they were, they were upright. So in this case they are laying down here. So, all right, so this is Texas Stardom, and let's see which way is up. So it looks like this is on the bottom. So let me, and it's kind of cool to see how these different greenhouses package their plants for shipping. I mean, I know it can't be easy. Paper. So this keeps them kind of packaged up and not moving around much. Okay. And if I can find a picture, I'll I'll post up a picture of what the blossoms will look like. Apparently they're supposed to be like these really big um, white blossoms. Oh, and got a little leaf that fell off. That's fine. Um, with Jersey Snowflakes last weekend, I had a leaf that fell off. And what did I do? I just simply popped it in with my leaf set. So that's probably what I'll do with this fella here. All right, shears here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and snap this off right where it's hanging so we won't. And I'll see if I can propagate that because why not? That is Texas stardom. So got some giant leaves. I mean, these are humongous, really big leaves. Oh, and here we do have a blossom here that's going to be coming in. I hope it go. I hope it does bloom. So we do have a blo We do have a blossom here that looks like it's trying to make its way. And are there any more? Oh, and we got a couple more right here in the center. So one right there. So. Hopefully, hopefully it'll bloom within a week or so, and then I can see what they actually look like because these are supposed to be like some really huge leaves, um, really huge flowers. They're white with kind of like a purple center. I guess that's why they call it Texas Stardom because everything is big in Texas. All right, so our next one is Ma's Arctic Sky. Okay. Oh my goodness, this this is a massive leaf. Look at that. Good Lord. Okay, I didn't realize the leaves were this big. These are humongous and like humongous variegated leaves. Okay, and this is a standard. That's huge. Yeah, this one looks like, this one looks like it might not because it's kind of hanging here. See, again, like the folks in my group say that I guess you always lose leaves in shipment. And what can you do? I guess you just try to propagate them. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Now this is packaged differently than petals and leaves, but I mean, it's still, it's 
still clean. We don't have soil flying all over the place. We got plastic on top to keep the dirt in. All right, the only thing is, is like, you know, the leaves. Um, so again, I might have to snap this one off. And I guess they had to prune these down because, you know, you have the big leaves and then you have the little small leaves here in the crown. And, uh, and I think this one has like the, um, some blue blossoms. No blossoms here, but looks like they're trying to come out there. So maybe in a week or two, we will have some blossoms. Um, and we'll probably have to repot these at some point because these are like really teeny pots. Not potting them now because they've had a long trip. Not as long as my last shipment, but you know, New York to Virginia, that's a long trip. All right, and finally we have ACA's Summer Parfait. That's a standard. I have a thing, I, I, I seem like I have a liking for variegated leaves because the last, so, because uh, Jersey Snowflake, has variegated leaves. This, this Moz Arctic Sky also has variegated leaves. And this one, Summer Parfait, also has variegated leaves. I just really like them. Got some nice leaves here. Got some nice colors, coloration on the leaves. Now for this one, we have pink flowers for this one. So it's kind of like a pink thumbprint. So again, if I have a photo, I'll put a photo up. But when it blooms, it's supposed to have like these pansy flowers with pink thumbprints on the edges. So I can't wait for this one to bloom. Um, I don't see broken leaves yet. May get them later, but got some really pretty variegated leaves. Yeah, looks like it got shook, shook up a little bit. And I don't see any blooms yet. And I think what they really did, I think what they did was they probably had to prune this down some in order to make it fit. So really gonna have to put these guys in quarantine give them a lot of rest a lot of light give them a lot of love eventually i'll probably have to put them in another pot because these are small pots here um will not do that now because right now order of the day is just for them to rest and get used to their new home and then maybe in a month or so put them in a new pot because i read i'm new to this but i read this much you don't want them to be bouncing around in a mail truck and then immediately repot them because that's just going to stress them out. So I am excited by my new, my newest plants. This is, these are my third, fourth, and fifth named violets. Um, I also have a leaf set, so they haven't grown babies yet. So hopefully that will happen. But, and like I said, I'm glad winter shipping is coming out because I can see this getting out of hand really quickly. All right, I'm back because I can't shut up about my new plants. So, but that's okay. So, I took the plastic off of them so I could have a better look. And yeah, looks like for shipping, there is a lot of pruning around the, the root here. So it will most definitely need a repot. So yeah, it looks like they pruned them quite a bit for shipping, which is fine. You're just gonna grow some leaves. Got a little blossom coming in. So uh, again, this is Ma's Arctic Sky. And I think the only one that doesn't have any blossoms coming is uh, Summer Parfait, which is fine, but that's cool because I love these leaves. And then also I took the label off of the paper that it came in and I'm just gonna stick them here in the pot temporarily so I'll know who is who. I think I can tell who's who by the leaves. So yeah, I had to come back and yak a little bit more about these new violets and I will get back to you guys when blossoms open or you know, when anything else exciting happens. All right, bye again.